Welcome viewers, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's adventure episode, that was a little bit ridiculous, I try not to do that very often. Now, today is a little bit, well, it's completely different from yesterday, that's for sure. I'm going to be starting to build my giant crafting room, my automated crafting factory, I suppose. Not my usual smelting things from industrial craft, I mean using logistic pipes and teleport. Now, I have actually started a little bit already. I've already got some teleport pipes, which I built out of diamonds and such. Now, one thing I do want to get is, if you remember, I actually picked up this enchantment table during my adventure. I just want to build some bookcases and such around that. So I'll just go ahead and do that straight away. Wooden planks, books, this should be how you make one. Aha! So I've never actually made one before, so I was expecting that to go completely wrong. Now, bookcases. Not sure how many I need, as usual. Let me see. Oh wait, I haven't taught you yet, have I? There we go. Okay, 64 of them. Definitely more than I need. I really should fill this block in. One day I'm going to throw my client star right over the edge. It's definitely going to happen. Not on purpose, of course. Anyway, moving on. What the? That's not the right... Ah, go away. Wait, do I have... Do, what am I doing? Okay. I'll take that back, thank you. It kind of looked like a bookcase. Not at all, did it? Moving on. Bookcases. I might have to move those, um, thingamajigs, um, glowstone blocks. I don't know if they're giving off light anymore. And my what is, my light level, um, mod isn't actually working at the moment. I could just reinstall it, but I just haven't really been bothered just yet. Okay, I need a one block thing here. Because of course I'm going to raise this up to the maximum level. Now, unlike with regular crafting, I'm using a crafting mod that basically allows you to choose what enchantments you get, but it uses a much higher, um, what would you call it? Level system. It costs much more to actually enchant. So as you can see, it's completely different, well, slightly different. Put in your diamond sword or whatever it is you're trying to enchant, and actually can choose what enchantments you get, and you see, to get a sharpness 1 only costs 1 level, then it's 4, 12, 20, 31. And just like with normal crafting, I can't get smite or bane of the arthropods if I actually am using sharpness. Can't use smite either. But if I wanted to knock back on top of that extra damage from smite, it would cost even more levels. Where a optimum enchanted weapon will actually cost you 84 levels, which is of course absolutely ridiculous. I never actually want that. And in the last episode, I made a sharpness diamond sword just level 1, which you notice is fully repaired, which would seem like I'm cheating, but actually it gives you the option to repair and then disenchant weapons, but only if they're enchanted. So you can disenchant and get some of your levels back, but it's only half of what it actually costs to craft. Now, 64 levels, or was it 84, to get a maximum level sword might seem incredibly cheap, but without these bookcases, it actually costs around 120 levels just to get it. So, anyway, now my room is seeming a little bit cramped. I don't actually like this. I should have just made a different room for it, but I'll, I'll do that later. Now, what am I doing? Oh yes, I also got a protection enchanted chest plate and some chain mail, which looks absolutely terrible. Now, moving on. What I'm going to need is a whole heap of marble. So I want to start using marble in my buildings now. Actually, what? No. Yes? Maybe? Yes, marble. Sorry about that. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to make it out of glass, which is... I do. But I want to make it out of glass and marble instead of wooden planks and marble. So I just confused myself a little bit there. Now... Get rid of all these useless things in my inventory. Sort it out, sort it out. Wooden planks, don't need them. Don't need bones either, that's for sure. Books, bookcases, always keep bread on me from now on. Luckily, marble does look amazing while still being incredibly cheap. It is just one for one when you're creating it. In fact, maybe I should grab marble bricks instead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking bricks. Let's just craft these down there and then instead. I'll make heaps of marble bricks. Okay, that'll do the trick, and now a whole heap of glass. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, I want that back. Thank you. Alright. Thought I might as well just check on my quarries as well. 
they are going incredibly well. I can't really see how far my, my um, oldest one is, but it seems like it's nearly gotten all the way through the actual better dungeon down there. And let me see, some appetite. Eh, nothing really too great in there. But a whole heap of ores actually have been mined up. You might notice that there's two different kinds of copper. This was a mistake on my part. But I have fixed it in later generations. So once I move my house once again, which will probably happen in the 1.2.4 update, when that finally does um, get implemented by me, I'm not updating just yet. But once I do that, I will probably move my house. Just using the builder block, just like before. But it shouldn't be as difficult, seeing as I've got way... I've got a lot more EMC generation, so I should be able to make really anything. Packing up my entire house should be incredibly easy. Now, let me see. Where do I build? I'm guessing underneath my tree farm here. Except it's going to be much larger than my tree farm. Now, moving around could be a little bit of a problem. I've got plenty of grass, oh, glass, I might as well use it this way. Okay. Wait, why am I doing it like this? Go away. Of course, the problem is I do waste glass whenever I delete it. Hey, go away. The tree farm's nearly done. I gave up on trying to make three saplings per tree just because there's so many trees. I mean, what's the point anyway? Hey, this is going quite well. It's about halfway done through its coal. Oh, I should have checked on my chipsets. I'm just going to do that quickly. Not bad, only a few more gold ingots to go through, and then it will just be making the regular redstone chipset kinds. Got plenty of wire, which I didn't really need. Definitely not this much. Iron chipsets, gold, four diamonds. I thought I only made two. Strange. Anyway, that's going nicely. Hopefully I land on a tree. Okay, good. Bit worried about taking a bit too much damage there. I like having a tree farm there. Okay. So yes, perhaps under... Damn it. Perhaps underneath here. Now I'm trying to think... Um, I was going to move this uh, Buildcraft Energy Generation, which is called... What do I call it? MJ? Uh, Minecraft Jewels? Over to that floating island over there. But the problem with that, obviously, is that it is too far away from my quarries, and there seems to be some issues with the quarries starting to freak out, which I'm afraid that my engines might be freaking out if I'm over here and I can't be close enough to them. Now, chunk loading blocks might solve that problem, but I'm just not sure if they're going to work, and every patch worrying if my chunk loaders are working will kind of drive me insane. So... I'm thinking this area actually just might be a good place for them. Hmm. Alright, it's getting late. Too much talking instead of building. I'm just going to sleep until dawn and then get back to it. Okay, I want to get a lot done today, so I'm going to wake up just a little bit early. Three seconds early. Now, so it is still night time, but it won't be for long. Probably just for a couple more minutes. Not long enough that anything will kill me. Probably. Now yeah, I've got some armor, I've got a sword. Nothing to worry about. Okay, let me see. So I want to go up from here, and then head outwards. Just like so. Oh, chunk error. Whoa. Now let me see. Whoops. I want to just make sure it's in line with the rest of my house. This looks about right. Maybe. Oh, only one way to find out, I suppose. Build a tower. Out of the wrong blocks. Wonderful. Still, it should mine faster than marble, maybe. Okay, seems like I got perfect placement here. So it is just one block over. And it seems in line with the house, almost definitely. So, no problem. I guess this will be the start of my giant crafting room. Okay, now that I've replaced it with marble, it is about time to decide exactly how tall this room is going to be. Now, I'm going to risk this by destroying the block. Actually, no. I'll go around in a spiral. That would make more sense. Okay. Whoa, that's still dangerous. So at the moment... Hmm, not really big enough just yet. I'll drop down another few blocks. Oh, okay. So if that's the roof and this is the floor, that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, that's six blocks. 
six blocks isn't too... Mm, it's not really a huge crafting room then. Let's make it eight. Go around in a complete spiral. That'll do the trick. Okay, so it is coming along quite nicely. Now this isn't actually the actual size. I'm actually going to be building out... I'm saying actually way too much. I'm going to be building out another length out this way. So it's actually going to be three times as big. And then the same direction in that direction. The same length in that direction. The more I think about it, the more I think I should be using a Buildcraft filler block to do this. As you can see, it's already nighttime, be day soon. Oh dear, I'm under attack by a, um, 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 Enderman. It teleported behind me, so I must have looked at it while I was building down below. Should. Come on. Where are you? I only slapped you in the face. You're definitely still after me. I'm heading back home. I actually just ran out of marble anyway. Okay. I can't see. Oh, no, no, no. I see you. Ha! Da. Oh! Come on. Is it you? You better not be another Enderman. Okay. No problem. Wish I got an Ender Pearl out of that at least, but I guess that would be asking for a bit much. Oh, cool. I actually did get an Ender Pearl. Not bad then. Now I wonder if it allows you to take items actually from the alchemical... No, probably not. Anyway, the plan is to fill my inventory, my alchemical bag that is, with items so I don't have to make multiple trips once again. Now to climb stuff myself up some more marble bricks. And I might as well get some more glass even though I didn't really use much before. Okay. Wait. Oh cool, it actually is going into the alchemical bag. Awesome. This isn't going to work though. What am I going to do? I'm just going to teach the ender pearl. I mean teach the transmutation tablet how to make ender pearls. And now get in the bag. Alright. Okay guys, it is nearly done. Well, not really. None of the walls or floors are done. But from the look of it, it is looking rather... Well, it's more cool than I actually thought it was going to be. And I'm going to actually be putting quarries underneath these. Uh, one quarry for each, not one giant one like over there. Which means I'm going to have nine quarries running, which will get me a whole, just a massive amount of resources. So that should be cool. Which I'll just be running underneath so it doesn't actually destroy my crafting rooms themselves. Now I have been thinking that maybe I shouldn't use glass for the walls, although I've been doing it for nearly everything else except for my tree farm and my wallless power factory. Mainly because I might need to put switches on things, and putting switches on glass has started to become quite a problem. But then again, glass looks better. No, glass will do. Glass will do the trick. Alright, at last, at last it is done. This is ridiculous. I have no idea how many Minecraft days have gone by. How many real life days have gone by. This is... ah, oh dear. I didn't expect it to take this long once I started, I really should have considering its size, but... <sighs> so yes, it is completed now. Although I wish I never started building it. Now I do need an exit around here. I'll make it a large arcway, why not? Archway, not arcway. That'll do it. Ah. <sighs> You know what, I know this is probably a short video for the skipping ahead, but I'm going to sign off here. This is just way too tiring for one day.